Hi right, guys, sorry it's been a while with the, um, the beast inside. This is part five, and I honest to god can't remember the fuck I was. It's been that long since I played it. Um, just obviously I had COVID, and that stopped me from continuing the series. And then I've been trying to keep up with content and getting back ahead. Luckily Dead by Daylight's relatively short matches, so that's been helping. Um, I'm going to have to try and get some time on my days off in trying to get some League of Legends ranked games. But obviously, League of Legends can be a problem because your games are like 30 to 40 minutes, so they're not short. So if you're lucky, you might get two an hour. Some can take close to an hour in some cases, or at least three quarters of an hour. So it's um, a bit harder to make content for them. And obviously, it's got to be a good game. There's no point in putting a game where you get completely hammered or your team's complete crap. So you want a, a game where you ideally you win and where you've at least performed well. I mean, I, I generally do in mine because I don't concede that many deaths. And if I start to die, I just play safe near my tower where um, I can't see the same for my teammates. Like one of my most recent games, I'm a bottom lane have 20 deaths between two people. They both died 10 times. I don't even die 10 times in a game. And that's just a matter of people probably tilting and inting a little bit and then playing ridiculously unsafe for whatever reason. I have no idea why. Right, what the fuck am I doing? Am I going this way? I don't even remember what the fucking buttons are. That's how long it's been. Controls, what we got here? So I've got it attached to my... Oh, I actually am on this game, have I? Oh no, that's what these are in front of me here. I think I wrote them down. Oh fucking hell, it's got all the generic buttons. here and suck in my gut. Doesn't seem too stable, but maybe I can get to the other side. Eh. Fucking hell. We'll jump then you fucking gork. Why isn't he jumping? What are you caught on? Oh my What? Well, because my guy jumps like a goddamn moron. What? So he jumps on the piece of wood, but it makes it so I can't jump up? What the fuck? Maybe the game could perform? Fuck me. Hell. You get stuck on fucking everything. Maybe they need to work on the collision of the, the game. Fuck's sake. Clear where he's gone. Slip through here. I'm sucking my gut.
Can my guy jump properly? Onto things? Oh, it's, in fact, it's not in my guy. I blame the game environment on that one. I was over there on the side on the the wooden thing, and it's like, oh no, you're you're gonna get stuck. All right, on on nothing. Doesn't seem too stable. Maybe on the other side. Oh, fucking hell. Why was that so difficult? Oh my god. You can't even walk up a hill, really. <laughs> what the hell's this? Oh. So, I literally cannot fucking hell. Guy said he's not as fit as he used to be, yeah. Or you you can't jump further than a fucking Teletubby. What? I don't get it. Get out, break then. All right, fucking breakable bastard wood. Thank you. And this proves the point, and I bet some of you guys have had this as well. When you play a game, then go back to it after a while, unless you've got like some sort of like photographic or eidetic memory, something like that. How quickly you forget. What um, the buttons are in a game. There's a red tent up there. I used to have a rather annoying cough though, so I apologise for that. Man, this boat looks like it's a hundred years old. Okay. So clearly you don't come down this way. What the fuck? Holy God! I 
I'm sorry, I'm quite tired. I have been at work all day. Then came home to a three hour stream. And then I tried to do <laughs> some other YouTube recordings as well. So it's been uh, quite a busy day. I don't get a whole lot of free time. I am generally rather, rather busy. Looks like someone just left it all and never came back. Why? We're taking more like the scenic tour to that big mansion then. In one of the other parts I had to fight a boss at, but um The gate's closed. I need to find another. I way. think um I can't remember, I think something happened, I think the game crashed. And um it saved as I'd killed the boss. Which is unfortunate because it was quite a tin fight to be fair. Only if you guys, um, well, probably much everyone gets cough at some point. But if you do, have you guys ever had a cough medicine that actually fucking works? Because I seem to go through bottles of cough medicine and it does fucking nothing. Cough medicine, I swear, is the most useless medicine on the entire planet. Because none of them seem to work. If you guys have got... That mine shaft looks deep. If I had something that would enable me to climb down it, maybe it'd lead to the end. I could try to go down this way, but first I need a stronger rope. Mine is definitely too flimsy. I saw a tent on my way here. Maybe I can find something inside. Well, was that the tent, but you wouldn't go inside? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I should check the nearby tent. I'm trying to get back to your tent, I just couldn't remember which way I fucking came from. There's a backpack hanging in that tree. <coughs> Try to shake it down with something. Oh yeah, because I would have seen that. So, I'm at the tent. Am I supposed to get inside? I'm looking for a rip or something. I get it. Open the goddamn tent then. So I'm at the tent, I can't open it, I can't get inside it. So you can't do anything with the tent. There are two things you can interact with. How the fuck's walking up here?
It's worth checking. Yes, but I can't get to it. I can see where it is. I don't know how the fuck I get there. Ah! My fucking god. My guy struggles to jump two feet. Well, I could go through here. Oh, okay, that's how we do it. How long has this poor guy been hanging here? Strange that no one came looking for him. He must have fallen off that poor guy. His backpack is hanging loosely. I think I could knock it off with a stone. Well, you could if you weren't just chucking them like that. You're not really good at throwing these things, are you? How the hell do I get to go further? Ah. Oh. See, I thought I had to hold it as I picked it up. You don't, you just got to click it. And then you can hold down the throw to throw it further. This will certainly come in handy. I've just noticed, I've just realised a weirder thing though. He's using a dead man's climbing rope. The dead man was still hung from the goddamn cliff above. That guy had no lower half of his body. Now even if birds were he eating him, his legs, his skeletal part would still be attached. Which means somebody probably cut off the lower half of his body and then hung him there. I very much doubt there's a fucking grizzly. They're not quite that inventive. This was it, this was the end. Is that a safe? It looks like he's trying to rob a safe. Although technically I think rob would be a bit of a harsh term considering this place is a fucking ruin. Jesus. 
Actually, why did he go to as well? In the end, I'm fucking vanished. Rather fucking stupid to be fair with you, because they'd have more to gain by occupying it and using its resources. Destroying the resources gets you nothing. I don't get it. It's weird. Give me a second. I'll be back. So I've just finished my stream, so oh, I'm not up. My fucking ass. Oh. Why got to go back around there again? I don't get it. There's something I missed in that room before the one with the safe. Then but I didn't see anything. So I just missed that thing on the floor, is that it? Make sure I check everything else before I go back over again. Oh, fuck. If it fell on me, no one would ever blame me here. 
Oh shit. What is this place anyway? Why would you be that fucking stupid? Who the fuck locks a sacred padlock? Maybe I can find something in this room. Okay. It's fucking ruined. Luke twelve twenty three. Okay. It's not that, okay. to the lock here. Which numbers do I need, though? How the hell am I supposed to make anything out of it? I've got a fucking clue. Remember, the answer is not present. So if I'm looking at this right... The one number I can't see there is a five. So I'm going to go with five for that one. Numbers from the notebook. Which ones stand out? I don't see, oh no, there's a six there. Six, seven, eight. Nine. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they're all present here. Oh, think about that's the partial one, isn't it? 
and then this one which would be the bottom one oops zero there's no ones one and then it's whatever the last one might be Open the goddamn door. Something so we'll make up a cipher. Let's see. Get it. Fucking thing. Five. Seven. One. get it I've gone for all the numbers one of them should trigger it right submit oh fuck it. I thought I opened it I thought you shot on me yeah so the first one was five to make sure there's no five in any of these numbers Yeah, first one's a hundred percent five. And then second one is definitely oh, hang about I've done it wrong order, I'm to shit. It's five. Five there. Seven there, I've done it in fucking cause in this weird way around, haven't I? That's what I've done wrong. That's what I've done wrong. That's seven. That's five. That is one. Someone added a note in the notebook. The answer is not present. Looks like a hint. Something missing. I know. Wangabat shit. Is that for... Fuck! That's for one! Oh my god. Puzzle games really aren't my strong suit. <laughs> so this should be the missing number. <laughs> if I'm reading that right. So that, second one's five. 
top one is seven. Oops. So that page, the one that's missing. Shit. Links onto that, which should be one. And these would be whatever, whatever the fuck the bottom one is. I shouldn't just automatically ping. I put the number in. Because I'm seeing one, two, four, eight, zero, nine. So it could be three, five, seven. Or three, five, six, seven. Why didn't it do it when I went on six the first time? Fuck me. Six. All that for a piece the of goddamn age paper. Strangle me, and he would have succeeded if it wasn't for. Kill the druid not right in front of me. His throat looks like he was trying to see me, but why? Yeah, that's what happened in the uh, the mansion. Yeah, we got saved by the crazy-looking guy in the top hat when I fought the boss guy. Christ, I can't do it on my own. There's so much blood. Dear God, is this one of the guests? I don't know. Go get someone. He'll bleed to death. Press on the wound. I'll get help. The janitor is upstairs. Room 207. Where are you? Who is this? Easy. Don't try to get up. Good lord. No one will ever talk me into a lousy trip again. There he is. Looks like that missing fellow. The detective showed guests his dagger type. Detective? You mean that nosy fop Walter Gilman? Holy mother of God. I have to telegraph the sheriff. No. This man needs a doctor. Uh, I've seen wounds like this. It's only a matter of minutes. I'm sorry, son. These voices. There's so many of them. Wait, wait. I, I think I've heard this conversation before. Those people. They said that a certain detective, Walter Gilman, looked for the judge. If he was interested in missing people from the area, he might know something about my father's disappearance as well. Maybe at the reception desk I can find out his room number. Eh. It's the janitor who usually kept the reception keys. Him. Judge John Norton, father's former associate. Is that possible? I've just witnessed a crime from a decade ago? I'm getting lost. Memories and delusions all bleeding into one. Room number and it's taken off. Judge. Someone has been looking for him. Walter Gilman. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
That scared me. So the fuck's throwing goddamn bookcases? Jesus. I was not expecting that. No fucking way I'm going near that goddamn thing. You know, coming downstairs at me. Like fucking home alone. Seven. What the fuck was that? I did not sound human. Damn, there's a chain. <gasps> oh, fucking hell. Oh, oh. What the fuck? Maybe I could use it to cut through the chain. Oh, wow, yeah, to get inside to the creep motherfucker. Very open, so I'm going to go in here. Nothing there. What the fuck? What? 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 Just went up the window. What the fuck? It's like liquor scene out of fucking Resident Evil.
key. Some kerosene is going to get fucking used up in here. Oh shit, what the fuck? What the hell is that thing? Oh! <clears throat> okay. What was that? Where did it try to drag me? To hell, maybe? Christ, what have I gotten into? What the fuck is in this hotel? That guy who said it was the last time he comes in a mountain to retreat. I think there's a good chance it possibly was. What the fuck? Okay. What the fuck? A lot of fucks going on. Give me a sec. the fuck? Okay. Oh, I was like, what's the fucking point of this? To climb back up? Or to climb up to this area? This? Looks like a slaughter. Good God. Something's wrong here. I better grab that tool and get out of here.
No, this guy's just an analyst. But he works for the CIA and he lives in America. There are two reasons you should both have a gun. One, CIA, you know, a bit of protection. Just because you're an analyst doesn't mean people don't want to know what you fucking know. And analysts generally know more than a field agent. Because they're the ones that find out all the fucking information. Move like that. Mm -hmm. Go over here and add some candles and pretend that it didn't happen. Yes. Fucking hell. So, from what it, what it seems so far is there seems to be two sides of the game. The guy that you're playing in the present day, who's alive. And then this guy, but this guy seems to get all, all the fun stuff. He seems to get all the jump scares. All the interactive bits. You don't seem to get much of that on the other guy's side. Afraid. Something lurks in the forest. I have heard some inhuman screams in the trees and howling in the caves. I've seen claw marks on the bark. You drunkard, you'll scare the guests. What if they should be afraid? How many people have gone to the forest and never come back? I gotta heal howling again. I won't find rest tonight if I don't take a swig or two. So there is supposed to be some sort of creature involved, which would explain the weird old fucking noise that I heard and would explain why a uh, guy in present day was hanging half eaten from the fucking cliff top what if you just sell one run past corridor and I'd be like alright oh, okay yes it's normal tiny midget man Come through your windows. Had to be said. Fuck. Ah. Fucking hell! Oh. It's a ghost. What? Did I completely lose my mind? I don't know, but I think I just shit my fucking pants. Fucking Christ. Ah, oh, bastard. Can you fucking start my window? I'll, I'll lock you, bitch ass. I'll, I'll, I'll lock you. Don't let me see. I can do it. See? You fucking lock now what you do now, eh? Hey, making kind of banging noises. What's this? The fucking weirdo wanted to blow me up. I managed to subdue the bastard and lock him up in one of the rooms. May God watch over you if you ever need to enter B Wing. The commonest padlock is anger.
that gives us a way back downstairs at least. So right, since this is quite a lengthy part, I know what the code for this is. So I'm going to save this here. And then we'll venture in there next time. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. I did get a few jump scares there to the fucking end. Um, if you did, please leave me a like. If you're new around here, drop me a subscription. It's free. Don't cost you anything. Helps grow the channel. And if you leave me a comment, I'll get back to you. Take care, everyone, and have a great day.